Well then, um, Tim from Yorkshire Dragoons here, uh, once again, just a short video this week, this time. Um, I recently saw on Dom's Boots on the Table um, channel that he acquired a um, Franco Prussian War starter set from Eagles of Empires. Now, I've never been one for the French, however, ever since I can remember, I've always had an interest in the French Foreign Legion. And this chance, this gave me a chance to do some French, specifically French Foreign Legion regiments, as they served with the revolutionary troops after the fall of uh, Emperor Napoleon III. They were called from Algeria um, to serve in the army uh, fighting against the Prussians. They'd not been allowed to serve in metropolitan France before. This was um, such a, a desperate measure that they called all the uh, Algerian troops over to France. So, Dom, as I said, Dom got the starter set. I bought it, and what you get is two line units of French troops, two line units of Prussian troops. And so what I'll do now is to um, let you have a look at them and um, then we'll go from there. Okay, do So, as I mentioned, these are the uh, Empire of Eagles uh, Franco-Prussian War starter set. You get two units of French infantry two units of Prussian infantry um, they have a strange well rather unusual basing system where you base them in threes and twos so what I've done is I've bought some um, one I'm going to base them on penny pieces and use the um, movement trays from war bases um, I always find them that they're a really good company to work with uh, the figures themselves as you can see are absolutely superb uh, I'll try hopefully this will come into focus I can't see because the cameras because the way the camera is but hopefully it'll come into focus and you can see these things but they are absolutely gorgeous um, as I said I wanted to start trimming them today and cleaning them up but it's taken me about 10 minutes to do the whole lot here uh, the whole lot of the French there's very very little flash on there there's a tiny bit occasionally on the ends of the the rifles um, there's no flash on the figures themselves and they're just incredible uh, really really good uh, I haven't started on the Germans yet there looks to be a little bit more on the on the Prussians rather um, but nothing nothing untoward the sculpts themselves are superb uh, real full of character um, they have a lot of character in the faces which is going to be difficult for me because I'm a rubbish painter but I'll, I'll manage um, mold lines there isn't any I cannot find a mold line on any of these at all I think these must be relatively new molds so there's no issues with flash or mold just wonderful so I'm looking forward to cleaning them up uh, getting them getting them primed and get started painting um, and so the plan is to do the French first oh, simply because I'm too too excited to do German, Russians, Prussians, whatever they're called um, much prefer to do my French Royal Legion so the plan is to do the French first um, I'll probably, because there's very little white on them I'll probably um, prime them grey with a little white above from above i think they call it zenithal or something like that just a little white from above um again sprayed on and then um the coat itself will be a slightly light version of prussian blue the trousers are should be madder red i've yet to find which red i will do i know Mr. Hobby do a madder red colour, uh, but that's a um, oh, it's not 
it, I think it's a, um, a solvent based paint so I'm not too keen on that I like to use contrasts and I like to use the acrylics so I'll try and avoid them Mr Hobby I've ne never used them before um, the equipment is black and then there are various little bits like the the water bottles the um, shelter halves that are wrapped around the knapsack they're in a lighter color probably a probably more like a sand color with it being canvas the um kepi is red with a black band around it and black peak and the rifle well we, we do those in the usual colors you know something like a uh, a wildwood or whatever with the um little um with a little bit of metallic on the barrels and after a look see if we can find some decent pictures of the chasse rifle see what their situation is see whether they have a, a, a visible barrel or whether the barrel is enclosed i can't really remember on those um basing wise as i said i'm going to base them on one penny pieces so i can put them into the movement trays from wall bases i probably use the geek gaming um uh what's his name again easy base stuff well, it's probably not the right name but hey but you know the one the one i mean where it all comes together just put some pva on you don't have to paint it or whatever obviously the base will be um primed with the figures so we cover up the metal um and that's about it really with them they're not going to be uh they, they will be tabletop standard the, my painting isn't good enough for showing off too many you know showing off too close the three foot they're great they're okay uh, anything close i forget it i'm not that good yet uh, but i do feel i'm improving which is always a good thing so anyway that's the plan um i've put a few pictures up of the figures and the um a few pictures of the french foreign legion in the uniform of the time and um hope to see you again soon thanks a lot